Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today's tutorial I'm going to teach you about a mod in Volks as well as many other mod packs, modular power suits. Basically what this mod does, it adds different, it adds us basically a suit which lets you um, do all kinds of crazy stuff like fire plasma balls, be pretty much invincible, um, it lets you fly, it lets you shoot discs out of your hand, and lots more, and breathe underwater, and all kinds of other things as well, at the cost of electricity. So, to start off with, we need to make this really cool looking thing here. Uh, basically what this is, this is a power armor tinker table, which is what you use to add all of the stuff on. And this is made with four lapis, one emerald, and four iron. It looks absolutely fantastic, and when clicked on, it comes up with this interface with all of our different power suit um, pieces. Um, they will only appear if you actually have power suit pieces. So, um, for example, to make a power armor helmet you need three iron and two wire, and to make wire you need two gold nuggets and one redstone. Uh, to make your chest plate you need six iron and two wiring. For your leggings you need five iron and two wiring, and for your boots you need two wire and two iron, and for your claw, which is absolutely fantastic, you need two iron and three wiring. And now I'm going to go over every single recipe um, for all the different pieces that you can make for different things. So um, you can't actually like make some of these because for some reason some of them are in like development. But yeah, let's have a look. So to start off you need some sort of battery. The first battery, the one with the lowest amount of energy, is a low voltage capacitor which is made with three wiring, one paper, and one iron. The next level up from that is a medium voltage capacitor, which I recommend. It's made from one lapis, one paper, one gold nugget, and two wires. And the higher level version of that is a high voltage capacitor, which is made with one ender pearl, one block of glass, one glowstone dust, and two wiring. Um, to make iron thrusters, which is used in jetpacks, it's two force field emitters, um, two solenoids, one glowstone dust, and two iron. To make a glider wing, which is obviously used to make gliders, it's with five, five iron. Um, to make a solar panel, you need to make uh, a lapis block and surround it with eight glass panes. To make a sovo motor, which is a mo quite literally a motor that allows you to do stuff, it's made with two solenoids, one wiring, and one iron. To make a solenoid, you need f six wiring and three iron. To make a parachute, you need three wool and two string. To make a force field emitter, you need five solenoids and four ender pearls. Uh, to make a magnet, you need six iron and three solenoids, which is used to like magnetize items and mobs towards you. To make a computer chip, you need two redstone blocks, one redstone comparator two gold ingots and one diamond to make a hologram emitter which lets you see your skin without um, like taking away your armor if that makes sense you need four glass blocks, one glowstone, one cactus green, one rose red one lapis and one wiring to make a control circuit you need two cactus green <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing um, two redstone, two gold uh, and two wiring uh, to make basic plating, you need f uh, five iron and um, one wiring. I have no idea why I'm laughing. And to make advanced plating, which is to make very tough armor, you need five diamonds and one solenoid. Now, for some reason, artificial muscles and things can't be made. I just don't know why I'm laughing. <laughs> I'm a bit out of control today. Um, Right, so that's literally every single thing that you can craft. So to start off with, we're going to put on our suit, which looks absolutely awesome. Well, some people say that, some people don't. So I put it on right now. That's literally that's what it looks like. It looks kind of weird, but it can actually be coloured as well. We've got our um, our power fist as well, which looks badass. Okay, so we're going to start off with. Um, the helmet. With the helmet, as well as loads of other different things, you can put on armor. So to start off with, we're going to put on some diamond plating, and it will come up with the recipe here uh, for what you need to make. 
and we've got what we need so we just click the install button and we change the thickness of the plating here um, basically um, the amount of armor, the amount like armor points you have increases with the amount of weight so if you want really strong armor you're going to be really heavy which means you'll be really slow um, so I'm going to turn, it, even though it's lighter than uh, regular plating but it's just more expensive you can also make an electric shield but it just takes up energy over time and a heat shield which um, or heat sink which basically allows you to soak up things like lava and fire more easily we need to store this energy somewhere so we're going to put in a battery and um, we can increase the battery size right here and there's also another bar that says ICT2 tier but this doesn't actually do anything because we don't have ICT2 installed that's ITC Industrial Craft 2 which is in tech it. and we're also going to put in a solar generator which lets us generate energy via the sun see now you notice on the right there's two bars one of which is empty and one of the bars contains all my energy which may fill up over time because of the sun and the other bar is um, has like a lava texture which will fill up um, when I'm doing certain tasks and if it is full I will set a light because I'm overheating so other things we can put on include a water electrolyzer which um, if we run out of air we can use electricity to fill up our, um, our um, air bar if you like you can also make an auto feeder which quite literally feeds us automatically um, and the, it, I don't know why but there's like an efficiency rate on the auto feeder which appears over here you can also protect yourself from radiation which is useful in atomic science and you can also make an airtight seal which is useful in galactic craft um, you can also put on a pair of goggles goggles, binoculars and you, it doesn't consume any power and you can increase the amount that you can uh, see by pressing Y like so just got some scarecrows over there just because they're going to be my targets for later on um, you can also have night vision and you can change how you control your flight by pressing Z to go down by installing a control circuit which we're not going to do yet now when it comes to the chest plate the chest plate there's more options um, you can also add some more armor so let's just go ahead and add some more armor you can add another battery you can add batteries on literally every single thing and something that everyone wants you can add a jetpack now the more thrust you have on the jetpack the more energy it consumes so I'm going to go up into the sky you can just float down just glide back up again like so that's quite useful um, next up we've got um, a glider so if we install two glider wings um, by holding shift whilst in the air we can glide like so the amount of um, force we have whilst gliding actually increases depending on the weight of our suit if we have less weight then we can glide further okay so next up let's see we can also make camouflage which makes us look invisible we can create a magnet which lets us draw in lots of blocks from far away but it's kinda of pointless we can add a cooling system which cools us down quicker uh, but it also consumes um, energy as well uh, yeah that's pretty much it you can also make a parachute as well but that's going to confirm with like shift um, you can also make a thermal generator which generates energy from heat so if you're just like sitting in a bath of lava you get lots of energy but you probably die so okay on to the legs the um, the leggings are very useful let's just install another battery and yet another uh, plating we can um, make a kinetic generator which allows us to install energy um, using a servo motor or two of them and a control circuit so it does work the more weight they might you know increase of weight that made no sense whatsoever um, the more energy you want to generate the more weight there will be so as you can see the, um, the bar is going up right there which is very useful and the main thing about the legs is that you can actually increase the amount you move sprint and all sorts of things like that so 
if we increase the power so for example now when I walk I can now walk much faster and if I sprint I go even faster combine that with my jetpack and I can move super fast but you'll notice that now that when I glide I glide very slowly that's because my suit is now very heavy and I've got nothing to counteract that you can now jump higher with this just increase the power on that I don't really know what compensation does but still you can also increase the amount that you swim by that is literally pretty much it for the legs so next up we finally have the boots so we just increase the painting and the battery and basically what the boots allow you to do is as well as all the other things um, they ha there's jet boots which um, basically allow you to counteract gravity if you can't install a jetpack so they allow you to definitely allow you to counteract gravity a little bit okay so that was pretty simple but it wasn't a very good demonstration to be honest we also have a shock absorber which is very useful because um, if we are in survival mode and we fall off a cliff we'll be fine just as long as we have some energy with us and then there's also radiation protection um, if you want to be protected from radiation you have to have it on every single piece of your suit now the best part about this mod that everyone loves has got to be the claw because the claw or the the fist or the glove whatever you want to call it has some really cool stuff which I'm gonna leave until the end so basically what this thing can allow you to do it allows you to add every single thing into your um, well your claw like you can add an axe, a pickaxe, shovel, shears, road to tiller which is like a hoe basically a lux capacitor is cool because you can actually um, fire pieces of light like so by right clicking you can fire random light sources which is just really weird but no it works you have to um, change what you've got on your wheel by um, holding shift and using the mouse wheel okay what else we can also add an ore scanner as well as a leaf blower I don't know what the hell this is um, but I'm not even going to bother with that. You can upgrade your pickaxe into a diamond drill with that. You can also have an in place um, crafting table wherever you go. So if I just chest that out. So hold that and hold down shift using the mouse wheel, you change as you can see. So if we right click with this, built in crafting table. What else? We can also have an ore scanner. So we're now scanning ore, but it does cost energy in doing so. Uh, it just spams the chat and then we have a leaf blower which quite literally just blows things like leaves and grass so we just hold this down just get rid of all the grass it's very useful um, let's have a look and I don't want a battery on that to be honest it doesn't really matter too much when it's in creative mode and now we're gonna get to the thing that pretty much everyone is going to want the weapons so to start off with we're gonna have um a melee assist so for example it's basically a sword so if you go up to one of these guys if it doesn't lag too much we can kill them in one hit that was pretty well done you can also make something else which everyone's gonna love it's a plasma cannon and basically what you can do you can increase the voltage like so so if we just aim it at this poor guy over here we charge it up hold on fire epic explosion you can also increase the other bar that you saw which increases like the amount of um, damage done to the environment and last but not least well not really last but um we have this railgun and the railgun is basically it's kind of like the plasma cannon but it fires very powerful bullets under electromagnetic force so if we hold it if we sh uh, right click just shoots the railgun and kills that that I think that was a scarecrow. But if we hold it down, notice the heat bar on the um, the right goes up very quickly. So if we keep doing this, we'll yeah, see, we set on fire, which is generally a problem. And also, last but not least, even though I don't have a target to test this against, we also have a blade launcher, which apparently now you can just charge up. So if you hold this down and you let go, it fires little blades, like so just spam against the enemy and best of all it doesn't use very much energy like so and last but not least on the power suit you can also teleport it's 
really weird. So if I just select this and you right click an area, that didn't do anything. Brilliant. Now it did. You have to actually click on the ground. So if it's like miles away, then it won't work. It makes a weird sound. Like so. But it does consume a little bit of energy. So um, that is pretty much um, it when it comes to power suits. There's loads of different stuff that you can obviously explore and do all kinds of things. Um, so yeah, let's just have a look at the camouflage. So if I look at myself on F5, I'm now invisible. So hold on, if I like, if I hold nothing, look, I'm completely invisible. At the cost of energy, of course. And just like turn myself back. And last but not least, again, let's have a look at the magnet. It pushes mobs. Well, no, this is a mob repeller. Actually, this is this is a thing that pushes mobs away. And this thing is the magnet. So if we add this on, and we just we throw these guys with some flowers down, they will slowly come towards us. I would have thought. No, apparently that's not working. I must be doing something wrong. Does it need to be turned on? Hmm. But anyway, if we have a look at the um the mob repel repel thing. It doesn't work on scarecrows apparently, so let's have a look at it um with like a, let's say a villager. Um, it doesn't really work that well. Oh, that's a terrible deal. Wait, well, I thought I'd frozen there, I was a bit worried. You know what you're going to get for that, don't you? Lol. Oh wow, he didn't die. Oh, fair enough. Um, yeah. I'm lagging horribly right now, I don't know why. Oh god. That is pretty much it when it comes to modular power suits. Oh dear. There wasn't really very much to that to be honest. Well I hope you enjoyed that, says Invisible Me. So thanks everyone for watching. See ya.